Hello guys, welcome to Physics Grad. In the previous video, I had defined the generalized velocity q dot as the partial derivative of the generalized uh, position vector with respect to time. I want to point out that this definition is not strictly correct. So, is not exactly true, exactly correct. So, the correct definition, okay, correct definition is the following. The generalized velocity is actually the total derivative of the generalized coordinate with respect to time and not the partial derivative. So, I might as well clarify what is the difference between these two here. So, in order to understand this, consider two functions or consider a function rho which is a function of t which is explicit this means it is explicitly dependent on t and it is dependent on some other variable which in turn is dependent dependent on t so this becomes an implicit dependence on t and let's say some other variable y then how do we define do rho by do t so how is this defined this is defined as the limit where delta t tends to 0, rho of t plus delta t into x of t, uh, sorry, not into, of y minus rho of t x, x of t y divided by delta t. Similarly, the total derivative of rho with respect to time this is defined as limit delta t tends to 0 rho of t plus delta t x of t plus delta t note the difference here y minus rho of t x y x of t y divided by delta t. So there is a clear difference between the between the two. Here we also take into account how the variable uh, which in turn depends on time also changes when the time is incremented by delta t whereas we do not take into consideration about this impl implicit dependence over here. Here we only uh, notice about the explicit time dependence. The reason why I wrote this by mistake is because of because of a bad habit where because in most of the cases that we are going to encounter in this video series we will not have this kind of a dependence for for q so when this kind of a dependence is not there so this so this is same as writing do rho by do t plus dou rho by dou x into dou x by dou t plus dou rho by dou t dou y into dou y by dou t. Now clearly y there is no dependence on t so this goes to 0. There is some dependence of x with t that is why I have written x of t. So this does not go to 0. And therefore, this one basically becomes equal to this expression. But in most of our cases, Q doesn't have any kind of dependence with variables which in turn are dependent on time. And therefore, this term also vanishes in the case of Q for most of the cases. I'm not talking, I'm not saying that it's true in every case. So whenever such a case occurs, you can see that the total derivative simply becomes equal to the partial derivative and this is the reason why I erroneously wrote it in this manner. 
So I just wanted to point it out in this video uh, saying that the correct definition for, for the generalized velocity is actually the total derivative of so the correct definition is as follows q dot is d sorry dq by dt and the generalized acceleration in the same manner is the second derivative the total derivative of generalized coordinate with respect to time so i just wanted to clarify this in this video and i once again apologize for writing the expression for the generalized velocity in an erroneous manner so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video